Rigi Rooney the squirrel here. It's been a while. As I stand here up on my tree calmly coloring some comic pages. The sponsor of this video, my comic. I will explain where I have been. The tree I have been living in after Bobby J. Nortang's vicious attack has been, rid of existence. I was sleeping when I heard the sauce. The noise pounded into my ears like bombs a foot away from me. I tried to grab all of my belongs, but the tree swayed from side to side, knocking everything I owned out of the cubby hole that once held my door which feel out. I took refuge inside a corner of my squirrel nest, but my grip couldn't last forever. I fell. Into the unknown. Laying in the brush all I thought to myself. Afterward, the 700 people in the boats had nothing to do but wait, wait to die, wait to live, wait for an absolution which would never come. Everything I owned was gone, but I still had my dignity. I swooshed up out from the leaves that buried my grave, rebirthed from the ashes like a phoenix. Mother of dragons. After losing everything I loved I became someone who could bring that lost love to others. I fitness trainer. A great career for a squirrel went in the country like me. My first client was a man named Bob. My initial PTSD reaction to his name similarity to Bobby J. Norton took some getting used to. I used this struggle to show Bob that even a squirrel with nothing but a crippled mind can too lose the weight once their mind is put to it. Do thus push-ups? I would exclaim to Bob. You little fatty. Bob would cry back in pain I'm not a fatty, and I would remind him of what little Timmy, Bob's best friend in elementary school would always tell Bob while squishing his belly rolls. Blobby Bobby. Blobby Bobby. Blobby Bobby. Blobby Bobby. Blobby Bobby. Blobby Bobby. Bob cried in mental Himalaya tushin, I felt power in destroying Bob because I knew to become big I'd have to break him. Once Bob was 186 pounds he could do nothing but thank me for my insults to him. Bob is a good friend. Thank you Bob for recommending my training, but I have a job to do. To get back to my Russian viewers and make art videos. My fellow squirrels need me. Bob understood and we parted ways peakfully. Now I stand here today making this video. I love you. I will always love you. Please read my comic. Goodbye, Squirrel Nation. I will speak to you again soon.